In this video, I will be reviewing a Chinese all-purpose cleaver from Shiba Shijou. Hello guys, I'm Chef Panko and I used to work in a French and a Japanese restaurant. Make sure to subscribe if you want to know more about knives and cooking. Before we start with the review, I want to go over some disclosures. This knife has been bought with my own money. No one sent them to me or is paying me to use the knife or to make this video. No one gets a chance to preview any of this footage before you guys get to see this on YouTube. Now with the disclosures away, let's start with the review. The Chinese cleaver from Shiba Shijo is made from a complete stainless steel construction. They are using a 40CR13 core material which has a decent edge retention and can be used as a true workhorse. You don't have to worry about chipping or rusting. The Rockwell wheel hardness is around 57 or slightly lower. This is a Chinese all-purpose cleaver which means that the heel area has been reinforced during the heating process and therefore more sturdier and can be used to go through small bones or tartar food. The front part is used to slice through boneless meat or vegetables. The different finish above the edge helps preventing from food resisting your cut. The logo is debossed, which is a nice touch in the aesthetic. The handle and the end cap of the handle all have a debossed logo. The handle is very interesting since the blade is seamlessly welded to the handle. The debossed logo on the handle is noticeable every time you grab the knife. But after a minute you forget the debossed feeling, but I wish that I went for a different handle structure and design to make it more comfortable instead of the debossed letters. What you will notice immediately is how big the oval shaped handle is and therefore suitable for larger hands. If you have medium to small hands then this handle might not be comfortable for you to hold. The knife balance point is at the logo area. The pinch grip at the blade will make this knife front heavy which is what you would expect from a cleaver styled knife. The only recommended gripping style is the pinch grip at the curved front part of the handle. The knife is very heavy with a weight of around 432 grams. Since the handle is so big, you will automatically grab the handle with more force than necessary. You will notice a lot of strain on your hand and forearm. This knife is great if you want to train your forearm, but the overall comfort to use this cleaver is not there. The Shiba Shijo P01 has no distal taper, which is also not necessary for a cleaver style knife. The spine thickness is 2.1mm from heel to the front. The spine is nicely polished and there's no discomfort there. The knife is also very stiff so there's no noticeable flex during use. The profile taper is also nicely done. The knife profile is good and exactly what I expect from a Chinese cleaver. Since this is an all-purpose cleaver, we use the front part for most of the time. The front part starts with a flat profile and slightly curves at the middle, which helps with finishing your forward cut. The 4D CR13 core material is a good stainless steel core which can take a beating but with the knife weight and the cheaper stainless steel the edge retention is less and the knife will get dull faster but the knife is easy to maintain and worry free while the price of this knife is very reasonable and i would have recommended the knife to anyone if it wasn't for the overall design of the knife the overall comfort is not there and it feels more like a tool to do your forearm workout than a kitchen knife the packaging is nothing special and the knife is not well protected but since this knife steel type can take a beating it is not a problem. The real complaint is with the stickers on the blade itself. Some were easy to remove but one was hard to remove. The solution was to use some WD-40 lubricant, spray it on the blade and just rub it away. Shiba Shijo is a very interesting brand and they are definitely capable of delivering quality knives. Unfortunately, the overall design of this P01 is not comfortable. But the overall quality is definitely great and I have two other knives from them and they are both better than this knife in terms of design. My recommendation is to avoid this version. I will link the recommended Shiba Shicho cleaver in the description below. A review for that cleaver will be made, so if you don't want to miss the review of the Shiba Shijo F2081, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified. That's it for this review. If you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section below. And if you disagree with my review or have other opinions, please share them in the comment section so that we can help others in their decision. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.